Hey guys, it's Queen Gija, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to the Love, Tuna Boyo, and Other Delusions movie take on me. So, what we're gonna do, like I always do typically when I have a movie or something that's longer than an hour, um, I'm gonna do this in parts. So, the first video will be 55 minutes, and the second half will be the rest of the film and it's like that after I'm done talking or whatever, but... Um, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this is going to conclude the whole series as a whole. Um, I'm guessing this is either going to be taking place maybe either a couple of weeks after the second season or really the show overall ended or maybe a couple of months after it. I think if I had to choose, I may end up saying a couple of months. Hopefully, um, Sophia makes an appearance in this film because... It would make sense for everybody who we met from episode 1 to episode 26, OVA included, are included as well, to have everybody come in. But honestly, at the end of the day, I don't really know what in the world they're going to be doing with this, how this is really going to go, what are the challenges they're going to face. Um, I would like to maybe see um, not only Yuta's parents again, possibly, really, mostly, like, his dad, because his dad is the only one we haven't seen. Um, maybe uh, Rika-chan's mom again, or at least someone else's like family, because I mean we haven't seen Shinka's or Cumin's or Sane's, so that's all I really want. And then, like I said, still Sophie. Sophie needs to be in this film, but I ain't gonna know. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for the first half. Okay, let's go ahead and get started in three two, one, go. Okay, so uh, we ran into a little problem. I thought I had it right, but apparently I did not. Um, I thought I downloaded the movie, made it on Handbrake and everything to sub. Well, it has the subtitles in there, all right. <laughs> but at the same time, it's English audio. And I think I also deleted the file from Neon as well that I downloaded. But it's okay. It's fine. Maybe after I'm done re watching this, I'll rewatch the movie in Japanese. But let's just see how the dub cast does it. Even though I'm probably not gonna like it. Yeah. Was that supposed to be Cuman Land? I can't. Yeah, try a different one. Oh my god, Rika! Seventeen? Oh. Because it's important. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't.
excuse opening up when we died. Shinka? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. Nice try, you two. Well, you know, because she hides behind that cute little mask and be like, mm, look how prim and proper I am. Really? Well, I think once the rest of you guys graduate. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, I think it's fine. Is that your sister calling? <laughs> Yeah, which would be nice. Um. <laughs> exactly. Going away together is also nice. Yeah, but you still have to continue it. So you have to do couple things together. Huh. You deserve that. <laughs> exactly. You can't use that as an excuse.
You have to kill a bug man! Oh my god! So you have to take the next step with her. <laughs> you two need to have a heart to heart, like a big behind conversation. Sorry, Cody. <laughs> Speaking of which, she wants her to move. Mm -hmm. Like moving. <laughs> it's so funny to watch it with the subtitles. <laughs> Yeah, I think she can. Shit. No. Oh, God. I know. Exactly. No, 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 no. That's, yeah, that's against the law. You don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah. You can't do that. That's cheating. Study. It's the best way. And if you show her that, then maybe she'll say no. <laughs> yeah, because she'll have Yuka's last name. <laughs> I mean, 
me. And yeah, I think you guys should because you're both 18. She might not. <laughs> I know. Perfect. Mm, you never know. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, since they cannot elope, you know, they gotta have like a really small wedding, right? I mean, they, yeah, it can't be big, big. I'm just saying. This is something that, like, my insides have been feeling oh good. Both. <laughs> You don't remember? Oh, okay. Ah. Wait. Uh. Giving me. <laughs> She's gonna. My God, you guys! At least you tried, but you know, Toka is always one step ahead. Of you. <laughs> uh, I mean, damn you, little snitch, huh? Got you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, she got a try. Oh my God. <laughs>
Why didn't human come? Yeah, this. Oh God. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, everybody? You would think they would get kicked out for it. <laughs> They're fighting. They would call it like <laughs> misdemeanor or some shit. <laughs> Something about disturbing the public. <laughs> Oh. Of course. This is why you should have just said that. <laughs> Both of your fault. <laughs> oh my god, hurry, please. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, how the fuck you get here so fucking quickly? I know, I mean, yeah, you track your sister. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, she's been fine. That she would be normal. But she has it. Like so good. I'm hungry. Come here. Um, oh, you hop down. <laughs> You're on the floor. Come here. But how can you be? Okay, yeah, we're good about that, but how can you be so sure about that? That's something you'll never know. Come here. Not really, specifically in public because, yeah, you know, somebody might end up calling the police or whatever. Come here, baby. Come here. And Cody, don't bark at me because you know you want to come here. Exactly. So they need this trip. That's the same thing really for all of you, especially Cuman, because Cuman is, you know, going to college.
Do you guys have money? Yes, how much money do you have? Of course. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, which is cheaper, but still. Hmm? And we're going. <laughs> yeah, it just seems normal. Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, because it's a love hotel. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Yes. No, 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 no. My God, break up. But these two are staying here. Oh my god, just... See? Smart. So now where are you gonna stay? Yeah, everybody sleep. Go on, do it, do it. Finally, kiss. Go on. No, it's fine. It is fine. Mm hmm.
I swear to God. I mean, okay, look. The, if this movie does not, if this movie ends with them not kissing. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Wait. I love how everybody is in normal clothes and freaking Dekamai is in <laughs> You gotta do what you think is best. Oh, I know how that feeling is. Mm. He so bought that. I mean, come on. It's so obvious. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> Exactly. My child. <laughs> oh, her sheets are so pretty. Might as well continue talking about her. Makes sense. Yeah, might as well. No, no, 
no, no, no, no. Let's do it as a surprise. Are you sure? I mean, it's so small. Oh. <laughs> no! They really did this? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch this movie in Japanese because oh my god. That's unfair. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe you should have asked for an extra blanket. Yeah, thank God. Oh, my God.
Ja. Of course. You can always ask her. <laughs> so adorable. I know. <laughs> My airport's pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> No. Yeah, cause Toga knows. Shit, you have your stuff. Of course she does. No, it's her weapons. Her, her fate. The, um, uh huh. Mm hmm.
<laughs> she didn't call you. <laughs> Ah, oh, you two fell for it. <laughs> Hurry. Peace out. You guys can still catch him, though. Maybe. <laughs> oh, only have less than a minute left before I'm done with this half. Okay, what about you, Rika? Okay, alright. So, since they're now here, biggest thing is I do want to know what in the world he wants to talk to his mom about, her mom about, and it has to be something of a way to get Toka to, you know, make her stay and let her stay. From the 55 minutes that we've seen of this home, oh my god, it's so good. I love the fact that it's just them traveling everywhere. Them even in Tokyo was like literally the best part of this film and literally having it as like a freaking music video is just so adorable. But the ring, oh my god. <laughs> I can't, like, oh, oh. I better see a wedding at the end of the second half. I mean, I would love for this movie series to end with that, like, a proposal. Mm, it would be so good, but oh my god, this is just, this is probably the best movie ever, I mean, for the series, besides, like, the Harahi movie, the, um, and a couple of other movies that Kill Annie has made. But, like, this has to probably be my top favorites, even though I'm not done with it yet. But now I'm kind of wondering what the heck is gonna happen in the second half, but... I mean, I ain't gonna know until we watch it, but this was really, really good. And I have so many questions about what the hell is gonna go down. Hopefully, Shinka and Dekomani would be able to catch them. It would have been better if Cumin was here as well, because it has always been them as a group. But since Cumin is hanging out with Sophia, I get that so that they can have a moment. Because if Cumin was hanging out with Shinka and Dekomani, then Soph wouldn't have been in the movie as much. It doesn't really seem like, in my opinion, that both Cumin and Soph are in the movie from the 55 minutes that I've officially watched, but hopefully in the second half they get a little bit more, but yeah. But, mm, I really don't have anything else to say about that, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the second half. Okay, second half in three, two, one, go. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was cute. Does it have something else to do with the ring? I mean, if it's not only about Toka, that situation. The ring? No. What are you going to show her? No, it's perfect. Oh, damn. Oh, I want some so bad. <laughs> but she might like it though. Oh, my God.
And so at least she kind of knows you, but not really, you know, face to face, but just information on you, though, uh, Yuta. Oh. I wonder how this is going to go. Hmm. Yeah. Go on. So, the only thing you can do is wait around for her, right? Goodbye with her. I wouldn't stop looking at it either. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you look so cute. <laughs> no matter what, you two are just hungry. <laughs> she is always watching every move. Like, still, this would be something while you're talking to them do together. Like, they're just like, yeah, we're gonna go on a little vacation. You guys just stay here. We're gonna. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Oh 
only if it had ended with him confessing to Cuban, but... Well, I mean, he still could. He could just date a college girl. That's something that you really got to think about for yourself. So maybe you should stop looking for her for now and let her do it on her own. No, he just got kicked by you. In the room. Damn it. It's in there, isn't it? Love is human, Sophia. No, <laughs> everyone is here. <laughs> But I think the reason why these two are here, mainly Sophia, to possibly talk to you, I'm not you to read that. But so, where is Rita?
Because mom, right? Mm-hmm. We don't know where Rika is. And it's okay not to know right now, but you have to give her an answer. And besides, we need to know by the end of this movie. the biggest question of all. human.
Mm -hmm. So you gotta go see him. so that you two can talk. Oh, You guys! So? <laughs> nope, she just wanted to travel and get some food. There is no normal high school life, no matter what. <laughs> okay, so no kiss. Okay, y you know what? It's all right. How many minutes we got left? We got sixteen minutes left. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Day. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to be scared. Finally. Oh my god. <laughs> it was worth it. Oh, that lady was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god. They could just end the movie right here. I mean, that was just... Damn, that's a nice ass car. the one that I love so much. Because they're in Italy, right? It makes sense.
I'm glad that they even have mom on the guy. Bar. <laughs> That's pretty though. A really gorgeous shot. So you're telling me that's how they're gonna end this movie? Oh. That is how they're ending it. Okay, so final thoughts with the last eight minutes left. This was really good. I mean, oh, this might have to be my favorite Kill Annie movie now. I mean, between um, freaking uh, Silent Voice, the k movie, the Haruhi movie, and now this, like, this might have to be my four. Until Violet Evergarden's movie. Um, the other movie comes out because I've already seen the, what I like to say is the movie before the movie, the other movie that was like more of a special that came out on Netflix. I watched that like a couple of months ago and I was a hot mess and I enjoyed it a lot. It just gave me so like everything that I needed, but this was so cute. It was them going on just a road trip together, eloping together and stuff. I would have liked it better if we got to see, you know. Utah, and you got no one in dress all married and ish. That would have been cute, but no, you can't really have everything. But it's okay. I am fine with that. But this movie was really good. I love how everybody got to have a pivotal role in it, whether it was major, um, well, the main major or minor roles in it, but everybody came into it. People who we saw in season one who weren't in season two. In this movie, characters that we met in season two were also in this movie. Because to me, I thought Soph was not going to be in this movie at all. I was like, oh my god, they're probably going to have this movie. Or if she's going to be in this movie, she's going to be like to the T. Maybe like only for her whole, maybe about like five, ten minutes. And that's kind of what it felt like. If you add maybe scenes that she was just in or she talked in. It, like, tallying that up, that's probably 5, 10, 15 minutes. And honestly, I'm okay with that. She wasn't, you know, the main focus because it's the relationship of Yuta and Rika and them and all of, it's always about them at the end of the day. And I loved it. How is them going to freaking Tokyo? That was, like, probably the best part of the movie. And then him giving her the ring. Like, that was sweet. Like, him having a talk with his mom, her mom about it. Oh, my God. That hurt, but this was a really damn good movie. I mean, oh, it, it made me tear up, but only really because of the ring part. I thought it was going to make me feel how I felt when I watched The Silent Voice for the first time, um, or even when I watched the Violet of a Garden movie, and I was like a hot ass mess. Like I was here at like ten o'clock at night, crying my butt off over this over the movie, and just getting me all up in my feels all over again. And that's the one reason why I love Kyoto Animation so freaking much and anything that they've done. But, ugh. I hate the fact that this is the last thing because we're done and I'm happy about that, but then at the same time, I'm sad because this was such a good movie and a good series. And now that it's over, I, I feel some type of way now. And I'm like, damn, I can't. There's nothing else. There's no season three. There's no season four. There's no season nothing. Like, this is it. And it's just, it hurts. It really, truly hurts. <laughs> I'm just like, what am I going to do now? I mean, I can always watch, like, all the other Kill Anthony shows that I haven't watched yet. But the feelings that you get when you're watching any of the Kyoto animation shows, and then when you move on to another one, you're not always going to get those exact same feelings that you got from 
Potty or Sound Euphorium or Love Chino Boyo or Violet Evergarden or anything that they've made. Sometimes you and sometimes you don't, but I can always rewatch it because, yes, I'm going to rewatch this movie in Japanese to see. I will say the dub cast did a really good job on this. Um, as someone who usually with some animes, and if I watch the dub 50 out of 50, the dub isn't always quite as good as the sub. But, I mean, because it, it just depends on you at the end of the day. But, honestly, even though it was a little error mistake that I made that I didn't know until I started watching the movie, I'm okay with watching it in English. But now I really want to see how the Japanese cash really went with this. And if it, if I watch it again, will it make me cry at the same things? I, I think, like, probably, yeah, it will, especially with the ring scene like that. I mean, come on, that had to make any girl freaking tear up because that's taking the relationship to the next level, even though I still would have wanted to see. There could be something at the end of this. I don't know, because we have like three more minutes before this thing is over. But so it was good. I if I could rate this show overall with everything, ten out of ten. It was just so so good. And if I had a chance to just like erase my memory and to rewatch it, I would watch it. I do it in a heartbeat. It's really almost anything with any anime that I've seen, but it was really good. Like, super duper good. I mean, ah, oh, it's beautiful. It makes me super excited for the Violet Evergarden movie that's coming, even though I possibly have to wait until next year to watch it, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, it's just so ring That was so cute. still fucking cute no matter what like oh, that was so good like oh my god it was just mm, mwah, beautiful loved it 10 out of 10 like everything mm, perfect amazing gorgeous like phenomenal like cinematography uh, i can never say right cinematography yes oh my god everything about this was just so epic good and mm, i honestly cannot wait to watch this movie again honestly that ass like Oh, it was so pretty, like, so, so pretty. Like, as someone who hasn't even watched, um, the Sound Euphoria movies, I know a lot of people talked about it, um, on not only Twitter, but a lot on YouTube, and I know a lot of people were kind of pissed about the last movie and how, what the trailer entailed, because I know there's two recap films, and then the third movie, um, is supposed to be, like, what happens after, and then I've already seen um, the spinoff of the two of uh, the two recap movies, and that was like the best thing ever because <laughs> I watched it twice, once by myself and one with my mom. And my mom was kind of confused about it, so I had to explain to her the best way that I could. But um, yeah, I, just, mm. I, I now kind of want to watch the Sound Euphoria movie now. I think, but I still have to get something else done today. But I think I can. I don't know, but yeah, it was just really good really 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 good i loved it i loved it for what it was this series was such a damn good series and i don't think there could be anything similarly like it i mean it it did give me feels to like it reminded me of bunny girl senpai um Harahi, typically any any type of show where it is first a light novel at first and then eventually becomes an anime and then you get to see the similarities it's also like that with um the Teenage Snafu show that's getting ready to end soon, and a couple others, Monogatari in a way. Still mysterious, but still lighthearted and everything. Maybe some, like, mm, not dark moments, but sad moments, happy moments, whatever. It's still sweet and, like, adorable, and I freaking loved it, no matter what it was. But, like, oh my god. Like, I just, still, I hate the fact that we're done with this, because this was one of those uh, shows that, like, was on my Netflix queue for the longest time, and I was like, I'm going to watch this, I don't know when I'm going to watch this, 
but I am going to watch this. And the next thing you know, somebody asked me on Patreon to watch them, to just really to watch like the whole entire series. And I didn't know if they wanted me to watch the movie, but I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and watch it anyway, because if it is the whole entire series, I'm doing the whole entire series no matter what. And so, I I'm glad. I'm really glad. Even though I, I don't think... In the, I okay, I'll say this. In the beginning, a lot of people were really, really excited about it, but I, I think not as much now. I don't really know. I, I can't really answer those questions of why. But it's kind of how I felt with Kayon in the beginning. Like, I was super duper excited for Kayon because as someone who's never seen it and so many people were like, oh my god, like, you need to watch it because it's so good. And so when the day that I finally started the series, even though at that time, um, my channel was slowly but surely getting terminated by YouTube, of course, because all of them happened like that. I had to move all my videos over, but when I finally started the series and ended the series of Kayon going into the movie and just being engulfed into the entire series and relating to the characters and like seeing them as myself in a way and just feeling like uh, relating to them no matter what like yeah I mean like because still Ozzy on still my best girl and no matter what even though her friends moved on to college and left it, I still think that there were times when they still went with her and kind of the same thing with this yes Dekamati was the only one who was eventually still going to be in school once <laughs> the rest of the kids graduated but I still think at times they hung out same thing with Cumin. Cumin was the first one so I felt like even though Cumin still had college Cumin was always there no matter what I mean but still like this was a really good series and I'm happy that I was able to watch this and I think the next thing as something um I had said it in the videos like way way before because there were so many episodes in I think all of season one that was advertising all the videos that I downloaded from Yan um advertising Tomoko Market. I think what I'm gonna do is because when sometimes when I say I'm gonna watch it on my own sometimes I don't even have time to watch stuff on my own but when I do make the time I like binge it. I think what I'm probably gonna do I think I'm gonna wait a couple of weeks um maybe a week or two weeks I don't know yet I'll probably end up doing it as a reaction series if I remember because I have so many things going on and then I'm like mm -hmm, jumble mess and trying to get everything and settled and plus to the fact is getting ready for fall anime and ish like that but yeah I think I will it'll it just won't be a patreon series it'll just be one of those that I'm like hey here you go like some of you probably were wondering if I was but mm. but still this was a really good series and honestly I will miss it the cast both like I said even though I watched this in dub um both sub and dub did amazing with it. There was nothing wrong with it. Everything was good, like top tier, and I loved it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards Love to and Another Legions take on me. If you guys get yeah, take on me, yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for the start of whatever the heck that I will be watching next. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!